Hi, it's Debbie. I'm a big hot and mess right now. We just finished doing the front yard. I will put some pictures so you can see before and after. But I got to go to Dollar Tree today and I used my uh, gift card from Carolina Bug Teresa that I won for the Beautiful Challenge. And here is what I got. I got lots of stuff. My husband had to get a haircut, so we went bowling and then he dropped me at Dollar Tree and went to get his haircut, so that was really great. But anyway, you see I got a basket because I needed that for the laundry room because the way our uh, washer and dryer doors open, they... Okay, I was gonna just show you. I'm gonna turn this windows on. You see, this is the washing machine over here. And when you open it, so when you gotta take the clothes out, you have to get them over the other side to here. So that's why I was always dropping them. So I think the people that originally ordered it, ordered it backwards, but our our hose to go out to the vent is here. So the dryer has to be on this side. And you can change this door and put it on the other side, but you can't do it with the washer. So even if we move that, it would, you'd still have to put the clothes over this. So that's why this works out great. We open together, so I have to take the wet stuff out this way. And I think that's probably why we got that set uh, cheap because someone ordered it and then they didn't want it so it was still halfway in the box the front of the box was cut off and uh, We got it for almost half price or less than half price. So yeah, I think that was why so I needed this so I don't drop stuff on the floor So anyway, let me show you what I got and I, I want to do this before because I'm going to use something that I got tonight in my bath I got one of these bombs um, bath bombs this one says goddess and I have never tried one of these before. This is Juniper and Musk. It's a bath bomb. And it says it's supposed to be fizzy and bubbly, so I will try that. And since I'm a filthy mess, it would be a good time. So let me show you what I got. I got a few little treats. I got some of these Werther's. It's caramel with chocolate on the outside. Put in my emergency chocolate jar, and I got some red wine. That's all I got. My husband, he found, these are really cool. It's like a croissant. It comes in a bag like this. It's a big, squishy, very soft and good. This one is strawberry and vanilla. The other one is just vanilla, which he had. I had a little sample of it. It's very good. Super soft. So if you see those, pick them up. And we've got a few things for the cats. Oh, I don't know what I did with the other one. Well, we've got some counts treats, and they all approve of those. They're shaped like little tiny hearts. Those were good. And then we were trying some liquid treats. Oh, here they are. So the boys, Wyatt will eat pretty much anything. But these are the lickable treats. And they're uh, $1.25 for three of them. And, oh, there's a call there. I think that's a call now. And uh, it's a little more solid than that. But Duke ate it and Wyatt ate it, but Pippa did not. So we get three. Because normally we buy a box of 12 and it's like 12 12 dollars so i think this is better deal so we got that and we've got wyatt down oh, deep down here and i also got a pair of glasses more readers because these are my favorite ones that i use and uh, they got more more glue on them than plastic anymore because i keep breaking them so i got another pair like this and drink up here here we got some more um, the marker stamps. There's a they stamp. It looks like it's gonna have a foot, a dog print, a star, a butterfly, a heart, and a smiley face. Because I have the flower ones which I like to use on envelopes. And then I got something else for the bath for relaxing. These look really nice. You can use them in a foot bath or in a regular bath. But there's this one. It's like bath salts and it's got Epsom salt, uh, menthol menthol to soothe and comfort, and lavender and chamomile to unwind and calm. So I will probably use that one tonight. It says nighttime. The other one is for um, aches and pains. And this one's got Epsom salt, menthol, and then juniper and orange to renew and uplift. So those are really nice. I thought they'd be good. And I did get some stickers. I only got two packs of stickers. I don't know what I do with the other one. One of them has got cats on it. I'm just looking for flat stickers. 
and the other one has got llamas and they're a little bit puffy but they're like short flat puffy llamas and camels and then i've seen someone else pick these up these are um water pens where you put the water in here and there's like a brush tip so you can paint watercolor paint with those so i wanted to try that and i did get one of my wish list items this is the last one left this is the gel pens and i like the silver and the gold gel pens and the silver especially i use up at christmas time because it writes on dark paper really nice so i found that and i got some more scatter this is a different one than the one i have this has got flamingos and suns and then just some little circles and then it's got some some hibiscus and some tiki's I have some that have other things like parrots and flowers and I think palm trees and then I was running out of glue glue sticks and when I got up to the counter the gal said you know we sell lots of these glue sticks but we don't sell the glue guns but I have a couple glue guns I got probably dirt all over my body yeah I can feel it's gritty I want to get it in the bag and then I got some popsicle sticks. My husband's eating his popsicles as fast as he can because I needed them for my plants, but I have some drying on the on the um, window ledge, but I need more, so I just found those. And then this is something I could probably use after digging around. And I've got a problem with my nails. They're all breaking. I think I'm iron deficient because that's usually, they're just really bad and they're sore. So I got this mask hand and nail gloves and I will probably use that after my bath as well and my foot foot gel socks and then I have some other gel pens these are new ones I've never seen they're gel and it says glitter uh, smooth writing metal tip oh, I thought it said it's glitter super glitter super glitter says right there so those are nice I'll have to give those a test out and they didn't have Mod Podge but they had this puzzle saver so I'm going to try that, because I'm always using that. And I found some little envelopes, or um, resealable bags. These are smaller than the ones I have, so sometimes I need those for friend mail. And I got, I found the bigger set of containers, the one that's got 10. These are the ones I like in the drawer. And just a few more things. Of course, the basket. That was a good deal. And then my Sudoku puzzle book is almost empty so I got another one of those and it's got nice big big pages I like that and oh well, this was something I never seen before it's like got metal so it's a little um cardboard on the back it's got a little frame and you can stick it up and then put magnets and notes on it so I thought that was really good I might put that up here by my desk because I have things taped and then I got this frame I don't know if it's gonna work I needed a frame for this gal I don't know if it will work or not. It might. It might be just right size, so I'll probably change it because I don't really like the gold. But, but that's for her. And then I got a notebook. I needed one of these, a ring binder, for something that I'm working on. Um, I think I have it out here. I've been working on a... Um, a friends thing the, the channels I like to watch and I started working on this the other other day or other week but I have a page with each uh, I put all my cut out letters die cut letters on there and then as you can see there's pictures of some people but I'm gonna I've been uh, printing out some pictures to put on and you can see this one's got Christina, and you can see I got her dogs there too, and Cher, and Karis, and Cooper. Cooper is um, uh, Connie's. I don't have her picture on here yet, but I guess I still got to print out a picture of Connie and put that on there. But I'm just going to put these in my little book and have them. And see, I did the names like that, in different colors. So it'll be nice to look at. And I can see all my friends. And then the last thing I got, I actually got two because I know my daughter's going to want one. And I love this. I just was loving this. It's Dr. Hor Horrible's Sing Along Blog. And that was one of our favorite, favorite shows. We loved it. And uh, it's like the screen, um, the, the script of it all. But it's got, uh, it's uh, Felicia Day 
and um, we'll, um, um, Josh Wheaton <laughs> made it, but it was a show, and it even has all this cheap music. So anyway, this is a great book, and they had they had several, but I got two, one for my daughter. So I just love that. I saw it. I was like, oh, i got to have it. But I think that was all I got. Uh, oh, my. I've got a lot of dirt. I was digging around, and it was very windy and hot and sweaty. And I just wanted to show two things I got from um, Aldi uh, that we really like. I tried um, this gluten-free um, macaroni and cheese, and it's made with rice flour, and it's very good. I thought, oh, it's going to taste terrible. It's really good. So if you're if you can't eat gluten, this was at um, Aldi's. I don't remember how much it was, but it was cheaper than the regular store. And then we also have been getting coffee there, the little coffee pods. This is the last one. I just emptied this box, so I brought it. But this was um, hazelnut. And of course, I'm going to save the squirrel on the front, but it was 12 of them for $3.69. And I got somewhere. Oh, this is from this is from the other boxes. I think this one was from the Colombian box. This one was midnight. It's like a dark one, a dark French roast. And this one. I can't remember. I think this was a French, no, it wasn't French vanilla. I don't remember. These two were dark roast, whatever they were, because I've already cut the boxes off, and this one's the Colombian, which is, I think, a medium. But they're very good, so if you see those, that's a good deal for the coffee pods. So I think that was it. So anyway, have a good day, and I'm going to go take my bath and quit being disgusting, because I feel all gross. So have a good day, and thank you so much for the gift card, Teresa. It came to good use and I was so excited to go. So anyway, have a good day. Bye. Okay, we just finished doing the front yard and I took the desert rose out of the ground and put the other one in there. So now this one is going to go in this pot, which is one I altered. I glued these little um, jemmies on the bottom to, so that it will be able to drain. So that's where he's going to go live, but I don't quite have enough dirt, so I'm going to see how it goes. Okay, I've got him in his little pot now, and since it is a desert rose, I figured it's like sandy, and we have a lot of sand, so I put sand on top, so hopefully that'll be okay. And from what I learned from our Land, our uh, mowing guys, is, when I had put it out front, they said that thing's going to be giant and you probably don't want it there. So that is why he's got a pot. Because if you keep it in a pot, they won't get so big. So that's why he's in a pot now. That's beautiful.